Hey friends, it's Alex from Vulture Culture and welcome to Fundamentals of EQ. Today we're going to be talking about shelving filters or shelving EQ and how to use it. Before we get started, please like this video if you find it helpful and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all the tutorials. I'm going to be using Re-EQ, which is Reaper's stock EQ plugin, but you could use whatever EQ plugin you'd like. And let's get started. All right, so what we're looking at here is a graphical representation of what we're hearing. And this is from the frequencies from the lowest frequency, zero hertz up to 20K and a little bit above because we're at 44.1 kilohertz sample rate. Now, the reason shelving filters are called shelving filters is because they look like shelves. You'll notice as I add uh, this low shelf, all the frequencies around and below 100 hertz are now being boosted and it's flat up here as compared to if I was to use a band and a band is more of an up and then down motion shelves always look always boost all the frequencies above a certain frequency or all the frequencies below a certain frequency or you could cut all the frequencies above a certain frequency and below a fr certain frequency. Now, what's kind of cool about shelves is for the longest time I didn't use them. I actually was, um, I used mostly bands. I'm not sure why, I guess it's just because it seemed to me like, well, I wanted to boost some frequency here or cut some frequency there. But the great thing about shelves is that they are, uh, without a doubt, the best way to uh, mix and uh, a lot of people might be skeptical of that claim, but the great thing about a shelf is it's very natural. If I take this frequency and I, I'm like, oh, I want some more high end on this, and I boost here, you can hear that certain frequencies almost can start to ring at a certain point, especially if I do it really dramatically, you can hear. Conversely, if I was to even do an extreme amount of shelving, because it's so gradual a slope, it's much more natural sounding even at aggressive levels of, of uh, movement. Um, so one of the reasons why shelving filters are so useful is because they can really help you nudge uh, sounds into the right place in a mix. So now we're listening to everything. And immediately I'm struck by the fact that the drums sound kind of weak. Um, they don't sound very bright. They sound a little dull. And they're not really hitting with a lot of thump to them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna grab this shelf and turn this up. and find a place where it seems really good, like where it seems really natural to fit in to the rest of the track. And the same thing, I wanna add some thump to the kick drum, so I'm gonna turn this up. And very quickly, all of a sudden, these drums sound a lot better than they did before if I turn the EQ off. It's like they just disappear. And now all of a sudden they're, they're, they're much more mixed sounding. And that's really the advantage to a shelf uh, versus bands is that you can very quickly uh, get the sound you're looking for. All the time what I'll do when, I, when I'm trying to figure something out uh, in a mix, if something's not sounding right, is just I'm gonna start it, listen out of solo, which is critical, and just sweep around and see where it sounds like it could work really good. So here, you can hear that somewhere in this area, that snare is adding a really annoying frequency, so I wanna make sure I'm above that by a bit. But around there, it sounds really great. And then same thing down here, I know I need some thumb and I'll just sweep around. Now, if you're listening to this, you can hear that there's kind of like a annoying mid-range sound. There's just too much kind of, uh, too much of this low mid sound. 
So I want to get below that and get just the sub bass on this. So I get that nice scooped uh, drum sound that's so popular in EDM right now. And just really get a good thump going. And that's what's so great about shelving EQ is that if you're ever in doubt, I'd, I really recommend going to shelves first and getting it close. And then you can go in and be really fine and say, all right, I want to add a little bit of a cut here. And maybe even with something else, I want to add a, another frequency and boost this section a little bit later on. But I think starting off with using shelves to get something in the right place is always the best uh, choice. And that's it. Uh, please like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all of the tutorials. And I'll see you in the next video.